Hello YouTube, welcome back to the shop. On this episode of What's In Yours, I will be adjusting the back brakes on the Nanrobot D5 Plus 2.0. I work hard on trying to provide quality content for electric scooters to include reviews, how-tos, and modifications. So please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and like the video. Let's get started. Okay folks, here we go with the back brakes for the Nanrobot D5 Plus 2.0. Adjusting these back brakes are going to be the same process for adjusting the front brakes as well. So let's get started. Now I'm going to take this caliper off and show you some of the things that you need to be aware of and some of the things to make this a little easier for you to adjust these brakes. So you're going to need a 5 millimeter Allen wrench and you're going to want to take these two screws off right here. And this is also the same process. Um, you're going to want to take this off to replace the brake pads as well. And also when you're taking this off, be aware that there is a, another washer right here on that. That's going to drop out. So make sure you don't lose those so you can put them back in. All right, here's your two washers. Now also one thing to be aware of is that this washer has a flat side and then it also has a rounded side. Just make sure the flat side is away from the tire. So it's gonna be pointing out this way when, when reinstalling them. Now here's your brake caliper, okay? Here's your brake pads inside there. If you can see that and I'll shine a flashlight up in there so you can get a better look. Now, on these brake pads, the one closest to the tire is a stationary brake pad. So basically what it is, is after you adjust that, the one closest to the tire, that's it. it, it does not move. The one that moves is the one furthest away from the tire. That's the one when you press in the, the brake handle is the one that's gonna squeeze together onto the brake rotor and that's what's going to stop your tire. So on this inside one, the one closest to the tire, to adjust this one to make it come, to adjust it closer or further away from the brake rotor, you're going to undo this set screw in here, okay? And once you undo that set screw, on the back side of this, it's also going to have this screw. Um, that's a five millimeter. Uh, Allen wrench hole and to if you adjust it in clockwise what that's going to do is bring that brake pad closer to the brake rotor if you adjust it counterclockwise it's going to put um, move it away from the brake rotor and so I have it adjusted where I want it set so once you adjust that you lock that back down and that's it you're done with that brake pad okay then also it has these little tabs here and you can pull that brake pad right off and there's magnets in there that hold that because the brake pad itself has a um, metal backing plate on that and so that's how you remove that and put the new one in all right so that's that's the one closest to the brake pad now now the one that's furthest away, the, away from the brake pad that one is the one that's going to move and to adjust that one it's a little bit more tricky. It's not hard. It just takes a little finesse and a little bit of uh, playing around with it to adjust it. But there's a couple of ways to adjust this. Um, of course, with your brake cable here, you unloosen this screw and you can pull this tighter. And then also you can unloosen this nut and you can screw this in towards the brake caliper or back it out towards the front of the scooter. Now, screwing this in towards the brake caliper is going to make that brake pad that's furthest away from the tire it's going to open it up it's going to move it away from the brake rotor screwing this out away from the brake caliper is going to bring it in closer to the uh, brake rotor so that's how you get that to move in and out. And then also too, when you're adjusting that, 
you know, it has this spring right here. Now the spring isn't really, a, it's not as robust. So when you're pulling, pulling in the uh, brake handle, you want to make sure that this spring is always uh, like kind of almost like fully extended. So I'll give you an example. I'll pull in the brake handle. So you see how it'll bunch up together, just like that, nice and even. Well, you don't wanna adjust this so tight that it compresses this spring as it sits naturally, because what it'll do is the spring will bunch itself up inside this top part right here, and it'll get caught. And then you'll start hearing like this clicking noise uh, with the spring. So you wanna try to adjust this brake pad in here, but also have the spring you know, naturally rest in its full extended state. So, and that's why you're gonna use this and you're gonna use this to make sure it's where it, it's where it needs to be. So that's how you adjust those brake pads. And then also too, sometimes even after you adjust it, it might not, you know, kind of be right there where you want it. Well, this also this brake caliper also sits on this track right here. And what you do is you undo these two Allen screws right here, and you can actually move this side to side, this, this whole caliper side to side. And so that will help you get centered as well. But we're gonna put this back on and I'll show you how to get the, um, how to center this onto the brake rotor properly. And then also, uh, what's the distance that you need from the brake rotor? Now, everybody has their own particular way on how to do on how to do this, and this is just my way on how I do it, and it works for me. And um, I keep my scooter on mode one as far as the EBS brakes. So you got zero, one, zero, one, and two. Zero being off, one being medium, and then two being the hardest. I like to keep mine on one because that's the way I ride and it works good for me, but you might find that that's not good for you and you might adjust it to something different. Now, when I'm putting these screws back in in this washer, I always start with the bottom one because I find it easier and I'll just kind of put it up in there and just center it up and then find that and then bring this caliper just kind of line it up and then I'll just get it hand started. Okay, now you're left with the top bolt and the washer. And if you do this last, I, I find it for me, it's easier. See, it goes right in. Boom. Good to go. Now, uh, I'll take my Allen and I'll just run them in and just snug them up so they're both even and then I'll unloosen them just a couple like about a full turn and you see how that brake rotor or I'm sorry the brake caliper is loose so to get those pads centered on your brake rotor you're gonna have to hit the brake handle the brake lever on your handlebars okay and you're gonna see this rotor, or I'm sorry, the uh, brake caliper move on you. Okay, so that's going to center me up on my brake rotor. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this, snug it down, and then release the brake handle. Okay, and then I'll tighten these up all the way. And there you go. So now you don't want to hear any rubbing noise. If you hear rubbing noise, that's fine. Take it back off or make some adjustments and then go take it for a ride. Now I find that if you have your scooter adjusted to zero, which a lot of people do because they don't like the EPS, you're going to have to adjust these um, a, a little bit more because you got to remember when you're going over 30 miles an hour and you're hitting the brakes and you're hard on the brakes, those brake pads are going to wear down and they're going to move further and further away from the rotor. So it does take 
you know, adjustment of these quite often. And that's just something you want to be mindful of that you just can't set it and forget it. It's something that you're always going to constantly have to adjust periodically. And then also to keep your brakes clean, I take compressed air and I blow it in there because um, after a long day's riding or a lot of hard riding, you'll see a bunch of uh, dust build up and your uh, brakes will get squeaky. So you want to be aware of that too. Keep these brake rotors and the caliper uh, clean. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Turn on the scooter and run the motor and then hit the brakes. And there we go. Now personally I like to keep my I like to keep my uh, handle kind of in, in medium. I don't like it to be too soft where when you grab it it squeezes in all the way to the uh, bike handle. Uh, mine squeezes into about right here. And you don't want it too stiff where you hit it and as soon as you hit it, it stops the scooter because then you're gonna slide and um, it's gonna you're gonna have an abrupt stop. And you know, that could be, at least in some situations, dangerous. So I like to give mine a medium where where my scooter will stop start stopping about halfway when I pull in that brake handle towards the uh, handlebars. Okay, so now after you got everything adjusted properly, you want to make sure that if you're trying to make sure that you got the brake pads the right enough distance away from the brake rotor, what I use is a filler gauge. Now, some people say you can use a business card and that works too. I've tried it, I've checked it out. That's okay if you don't have one of these. But it's a good thing, you know, to have in your toolbox to use it for other things as well. But for me, I find that 0.25 millimeters uh, works for the correct adjustment. And basically all I do is go in here and I go between the um, brake pad and the brake rotor and make sure that it go, it go, it's adjusted in between there and I find that is a good uh, uh, distance and it, it could fit in there snug or a little loose but not not too much but 0.25 millimeters on this 0 0.025 millimeters sorry is a good adjustment away from that and then of course but you know business cards that's fine it'll get you close but some business cards are thicker than others so having a filler gauge really works well and once you do that i find that really works well and all it'll have those brake pads exactly where you need um, on this rotor well that's it on the brake adjustment tutorial for the nan robot d5 plus 2.0 if i miss something put it down in the comments and hopefully you find this helpful if you did hit the subscribe button like the video and as always ride safe